Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit and welcome back to the Firebase tutorial. In the previous videos, we implemented Firebase Auth along with Firebase Firestore to save some user data. In this video, we will start implementing Firebase function. But before we do that, we need to edit a little bit in our code. So first things first, I added widgets directory inside our lib directory and I added user widget, but I'm not gonna go over it because we don't care about UI in this tutorial we care about implementing Firebase. So I edited the home screen to have the new UI that I created. Now, if we run the application, we will get this screen to sign the user up, but the user might be already signed up or signed in. So we need to check that if the user have credentials, the user is already signed up. We need to show the user immediately the home screen. Otherwise we need to show the sign up page. So now let's go to Firebase helper to do that down here. Let's say static widget and let's make it get, let's call it home screen. And in here, let's check if auth.current user different from null return const home screen. Otherwise return sign up screen. And let's have const in here too. Now in the main, let's go to the main and in here, let's say late final widget screen. And before we run the app, let's say screen is equal to Firebase helper dot home screen. And instead of passing the home in here, let's pass the screen in here. And let's rerun the app. So let's see if it works and it does. So we are on the home screen right now and we have a button here to send notification, which will do nothing for now because we didn't write anything. Now, before we continue in Flutter side, we need to implement Firebase cloud functions. Therefore, we need to enable cloud functions in our repository or directory here. So inside here, just write Firebase remit functions and let's see what happens okay so we need to, so to select an option we need to use an existing project okay so we need to specify which one i'll choose firebase tutorial you choose yours okay now we need to choose if javascript or typescript so i will choose typescript and it's asking, do you want to use ES lints? Let's say yes. And let's say yes to download the dependencies. And let's wait a little bit for them to be downloaded. All right, it downloaded all the dependency that we want. Now let's close our app and let's close all these. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have functions in here and we have an SRC folder. Now open the SRC folder and remove everything in here. Now it already imported Firebase functions. So we, inside here, we need to import star as admin from Firebase admin. And then, now we need to create a method which is a function that we want to call from the Flutter side. So first thing first, let's create a method that will check the connection and if the functions are online or, or what. So let's say exports dot, let's say check health is equal to functions dot HTTPS dot on call. And inside here, let's say async data and context and let's have semicolon here now inside here now you need to be careful not to use tab because it will have error about that so let's have two spaces and inside here let's just say return the function is online and that's it for this check health function. Now the main function we want to create is the function that will request, will take some parameters from the Flutter side 
and will push these into a notification to another device so let's create a new function let's say exports dot let's call it on or send notification and this is equal to functions dot https dot on call and it's async as well it has data and context now we're not gonna use the context right now but we will use it later so let's have it from now so first things first we can send a notification with image or without image so let's have this function have that ability to send a notification with image or without image so let's say we need to take title so let's say const title the title for the notification and then let me copy this and let's say body we need to send the body from the flutter side and let's say image also we need to send url image from the flutter side and finally the most important one is the token so we need to send the token from the flutter side which we will have from the firebase firestore now after we extract all these variables we need to send them so let's first create try catch block in the try let's create payload so let's say const payload is equal to inside here we will pass a map this map first it will have the token then it will have notification notification is also a map it has title the title that we created it has body body and finally it has image the image that we extracted and finally inside here we will pass data so the data would only have a body and that's it for the payload now after we create the payload but before we do that we need to do something in here let's first say admin dot initialize app and then let's say const fcm which is firebase cloud messaging is equal to admin dot messaging okay now down there in the try block let's say return fcm dot send so the send takes a payload so let's pass the payload that we created and let's have the then it give us a response so we need to show to return the response that we have in flutter to flutter sorry so let's say return and let's have a map here let's say or let's say success is true and let's say response is successfully sent message and let's say plus response i guess i'm missing an n okay and that's it in here and let's have a catch here let's say dot catch the catch may give us an error so inside here let's say return error error just error okay now down after the try we need to have catch so inside here we need to say and the catch might catch an error so inside here let's say throw new functions dot https dot http error and let's say invalid arguments with error plus error and that's it that's it for the firebase functions and we are ready to deploy our functions but before we do that we need to fix all that so let's check the try have two spaces however const have two spaces four okay so this one shall have two more so that shouldn't be here and this one should have two more so all that shouldn't be here alongside with this one and this shall go to this should go here and this 
shall be here and I guess this works okay so this shall have only two and this shall have only two and in the catch I guess that works for okay I guess that's it we are ready now to deploy our function but before we deploy our function or functions because we have two one for the health and one for sending notification before we do that we can deploy our functions to firebase unless you have enabled or changed the project mode into pay as you go i guess that's its name so if your project on spark maybe that's its name you can't upload or deploy functions to your firebase project so let me update my project and continue all right i have updated my project to blaze plan and now we are ready to deploy our functions to deploy functions we can say firebase deploy only functions and hit enter and let's wait a little bit to see if it will work or we're gonna have some errors deploying okay we have some errors so let's see what are they we have a couple of warnings about the data context but we have expected space after try which we don't have in here and the second error expected space after catch which we don't have in here i think that's it so let's run it again to see if it will work or not okay it worked and it will start deploying our functions so let's wait a little bit for it all right deploy completed so now if we go to our project and we expand build go to functions we shall see two functions in here which we do one for check health and the other for send notification now to test our methods or functions first we need to install cloud functions so let's copy that and let's go to popspec.yaml and add it in here and let's save it and wait a little bit for it to run okay now after we do that let's go to the firebase helper and let's create a method and this method will call our function so let's say static future void and let's say test help it takes nothing but it's async okay inside here first we have to say http as callable and let's create a callable which is equal to firebase functions dot instance dot http as callable now we have to pass the function name so inside here we created check health now let's test the check health and after it we have to say await callable.call and we can say final response is equal to await.call and we can say print response and let's go to the widget that i created in the elevated button we have on click here so if we go to the home screen we have to pass the only click for now we're not doing anything but now let's say firebase helper dot okay dot test health and let's run the app again to see if it will work or not so let's wait a little bit for it to run okay now let's clear all that and let's try and click send notification let's see what will happen i guess that's it so let's go back to firebase helper and let's have in here let's say if response dot data different from null print response the data and let's save it again let's clear it and let's send notification 
you can see the functions is online so okay we don't need that okay so our function is online this one the health function that we created therefore the send notification is also online but we can't test it now because we have to edit in the flutter side so we will do that in the next video and that was all for this one so thank you guys for watching if you like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss the next video i'll see you in the next video